All right, so we do experiment with a lot of things that we feed our chickens. We have been doing that for a while. So what we're actually planning on doing is trying to grow some things this winter to actually feed our chickens uh, and our ducks. Uh, one of the things that we're thinking about doing is, is grasses and also just leafy greens in the actual gardens. And it's turning out that our garden is becoming more and more just for the animals, which is okay. Uh, we are eating a lot of it, but there's so much, we give way more to the chickens, as you can see with tomato plants. I mean, we pull all our tomatoes out. Aside from the vegetables, we even give them the whole plant. I mean, why let it go to waste? They uh, pretty much broke these down uh, into nothing in no time. And there's no reason to not to, uh, just because of waste. You know, We try to not let anything go to waste on the farm. So our idea was to keep all the chickens in the front run and then plant something for them to eat. And what we chose to do was ryegrass. Uh, we planted quite a bit back here, about a pound of seeds. I threw a little bit outside just so that we could gauge how, how tall it was and maybe it can grow through some of that uh, hardware cloth we had. And as you can see, we also moved all the young ones that are new to the, the flock uh, into the interior run that we have inside that hen house. So as you can see, that stuff took almost no time at all to grow. Uh, I thought I'd let the, the little ones out a little bit. I, I know that if I don't leave them in there for too long, they're not going to eat too much of it. But they also get to uh, get used to some of the bigger chickens, especially the roosters, who are the main antagonist to any new bird. Uh, they're just not having it. And here it is. Slowly but surely, all that chicken poo that is mixed in with that hay is just perfect amount of fertilizer for this stuff. It's shooting up with no problem. This is about four days after. And this is the stuff that I threw on the outside to grow through the uh, predator barrier. And you can see, over a week later, this stuff is getting huge. I don't know how long we're going to wait, but uh, long enough. And it just, you know, it's turning into a really beautiful grass. And I don't know how quickly the chickens are going to go through this, but it's only been about uh, one and a half weeks at this point here and everything's growing great. Now we had heard that uh, young chicks shouldn't have too much ryegrass because there's certain things that are inside the plant that actually can cause pasty butt. Uh, so we let them have a little bit, but never more than maybe 15, 20 minutes out here and then I put them back in to their lower run because technically they're a little bit too young still and I want most of the bigger chickens to actually clean through this. Now we're going to let the ducks, as they're getting a lot bigger, a lot faster, uh, live outside of that little run for quite a while. Uh, and, and here you can see this is even uh, two weeks later. You can see that the ducks have kind of matted a lot of this down, but there's the majority of this grass is still there. I mean, they waddle around, they eat a little bit here and there, but they're just two little ducks. They're more concerned with their water bucket, so uh, we're not too worried about it. There should still be tons when it comes time for me to let out the main chickens. And here it is, the moment everyone's been waiting for. So we finally released the chickens. I've even released the little ones into the flock and they came right to it. I mean, they just clobbered this stuff. I guess that's what happens when you have uh, 24 chickens and two ducks that everybody, they're just looking for anything new, you know. They live in this run. They missed this back run. Three weeks without being able to be over here. That was a little bit long of a time. I think I'm not gonna do it for that long. Uh, but having the new 
uh, the new chicks and ducks uh, definitely added to that. So uh, uh, this went pretty fast. As you can see, they had no problem just chowing down, especially the roosters here. They uh, love that stuff. Yeah, I know these guys loved it, or these girls, I'm sorry, uh, because they ate all of it. All of that grass is essentially all gone by now. Uh, and I kind of figured that it wouldn't matter, you know, if even though that we do have some young chickens, uh, 24 chickens, they shared all that grass. They really, each one got a good bit of it, but not enough to cause any damage. So there you go.